Hello, thanks for joining me. My name is Valerie Geary. I write psychological suspense and mystery novels. And today I'm starting a new video series where I will share my experience, all the ins and outs of what it's like launching my first self-published book. My first two books, Crooked River and Everything We Lost, came out several years ago with a traditional publisher. Both of these books were published through William Morrow, which is an imprint of HarperCollins. This month, in about three weeks, I will be launching my third book, On a Dark Tide, which, for reasons I will explain in a later video, I have decided to self-publish. When it comes to book launches, I like to think of it as a spectrum. On one end, you have what I like to call the Blitz launch. The Blitz launch is what a lead title at a major publishing house would get. It's the book the publisher is going to put all their effort into selling. They're going to put all their advertising money, all their marketing money into selling this one book for that season. Basically all their time, energy, money is going into this one book to try and make as many sales as they can that first week that the book launches. It includes major advertising campaigns, trying to get the book into celebrity book clubs or into book of the month, a multi-city national tour, blog and readers copies going out the door by the hundreds, by the thousands even, reaching out to bloggers, bookstagrammers, reviewers, anything they possibly can. There's radio and television outreach. Basically, they're trying to build as much buzz as possible and generate a lot of early reviews and just get people really excited about their lead title. They're trying to make that New York Times bestseller list within that first week. It's kind of a blockbuster or bust mindset. That's one end of the spectrum. On the other end, you have what is called a soft launch. The soft launch is much, much quieter. There is little to no money spent on a soft launch. Basically, the idea is that maybe you already have an audience and you just release the book and then let your readership know through the newsletter or maybe you put a little something on, so on social media, but you're not actively spending money, you're not actively spending a lot of time or energy on the actual launch itself. That's kind of what the soft launch idea is about. Just putting the book out into the world with little fuss, little fanfare, and just kind of seeing what happens. Most likely you're not going to hit any kind of bestseller list unless you already have like a really big audience, a really large reach within your newsletter. Maybe it sells okay, maybe it doesn't, but maybe it doesn't matter to you, you just want the book to be out there in the world. There are of course a lot of different ways you could launch a book in between both of these extremes. You can do a little bit more than just dropping the book on Amazon, you can do a little bit less than, you know, going broke to try and launch your book. And some of it depends on whether you have the money to spend or whether you have a small, medium, or large publisher kind of pushing the book with you. Basically, there are a lot of steps involved when launching a new book, and I'll be sharing a lot of that with you in this series. I'll be talking about what I've already done to prep for my launch, what I still need to do, why I'm self-publishing, the differences between launching a book with a traditional publisher versus launching a book by myself, plus a whole lot more. So for On a Dark Tide, I have decided to do what I'm calling a low-key launch, which is closer to a soft launch than a blitz. So I'll tell you why I'm making that choice and what I hope to accomplish in next week's video. I think I should preface this series by saying that I am not a book marketing expert. Not even close. I'm an author who has launched two books with a major publisher and is now launching her first book as an indie author. I'm learning as I go. And that's what this series is going to be about. It'll be a behind the scenes look at one indie author launching her first self-published book. I'm not going to be giving you any magic words or any special formula or like a guaranteed way to sell books. I don't even know if any of my books are going to sell. So I'm making you no promises and honestly this series might just be you watching me fail, which could be fun for one of us. So here's how this is going to work. I will be posting how to launch a book videos on Tuesday. I'm planning for the series to run about eight weeks. I'll take you along with me in the days leading up to the release and then the days after the release and kind of share my experience with you, what I'm doing, what I'm not doing, why I'm doing it, how I'm doing it, the mistakes I made, the successes, the lessons I learned along the way. I'll talk about things I would do again, things I wouldn't do again. I'll talk about kind of the differences between launching a book with a traditional publisher versus launching a book by myself. I'll do my best to be as honest and transparent as possible with you. 
whether you are a writer who is also looking to launch a book or maybe you're just interested in the behind the scenes of how authors make a living. If you have any questions during this series, please feel free to ask them either in the comments of the videos or shoot me an email and I'll try to answer as many as I can. In addition to this low-key launching a book series, I'll also continue posting more reading related videos on Fridays such as like monthly wrap-ups and my TBR jar reading vlogs. So if you don't care about the writer side of my world, feel free to tune in just on Fridays for those reading related videos. As of the day that this video is posting, I have three weeks to launch this book, so I'd better get busy.